Yeah, I don't think it was the uh, prettiest game by any means to watch. A uh, difficult game to play, and you know Michigan came and, and you know did what they did. They were good, good on the restarts, and yeah, you know, I thought we really really stayed focused on some of those moments. Um, you know, but I don't think our intensity and energy level was what it needs to be in these games to maybe claim a victory. So at the end of the day, we'll, we'll take the point, and we just got to move on and get ready for BG. Looking at, uh, I mean, that was a back and forth game, pretty evenly match. How much will that help with those three remaining MAC games? Kind of push you into that last part of the season. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think um, you know when you get into where every result matters, and um, you can just play not to lose games. I think you know our style is to play, and I think when we got kind of rattled, we stopped playing, and then. Michigan's game and I think what we learned from that is as we get into these playoff games you know um, big game with conference to get into postseason and teams are going to be focused very similar to Michigan you know um, keep it safe in the back three starts second ball physical play so we can learn from this in terms of what we need to do to, to, to get out of that funk and play our game and, and do what we need to do to, uh, to win. Looking at uh you haven't had back-to-back -back wins since, I think, Labor Day. Does this team have an identity yet? And if not, is it frustrating for you? Yeah, I think, I think it's more of immaturity and probably a little bit of confidence. Um, you know, because you can see us against some of the best teams in the biggest games. We're very intense, very energetic, and then there's some games where don't seem to have the same energy and intensity. And at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta have that or your your style of play doesn't even come out. And I think that's where we're just a little immature and, and you know we gotta find ways to to have back to back good performances with the same energy and intensity. And um, that, that's been frustrating for, for I think the coaches and the team. Season coach, you've been around the, the game long enough. You, you've taken teams that were okay at the beginning and, and turn them into powerhouses at the end. What has to happen in this last month to kind of get it going? Yeah, you got to have more focus and you got to have more intensity and you got to have more energy because no, one, no one's going to feel perfect. You know, everybody's going to have their bones bruises and they'll have players out and no one's going to feel 100% but at the end of the day, the teams that can, you know, keep themselves energized and focused and play with the intensity and that's how they Daniel, I was asking him, this team right now is kind of in a state of flux. You haven't put back-to-back -back wins together in, a, in like over a month. Mm -hmm. What has to happen? So we're talking about those teams, of, I don't say teams in the past. So we're talking about a, 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 a unit that's solidified, that's, that's playing as one. Yeah, I mean, it just has to be a constant desire and will to win. We have end of the year, it's kind of crunch time now. Beginning of the year, maybe a result like this, we can move on and build from it. But right now, it's no excuses. We have to put in the effort and we have to make sure we're gelling now and communicating, being accountable, all the all things it takes to be a great team. And we have moments of it, but we have more consistent with it. And that's just no excuses. Is it frustrating or is this one of these things where, hey, you know what, we still have like four games left to figure this out? Let's kind of take this as, as the learning point and move forward. Yeah, it's frustrating, of course, but I mean, in a day it's fixable. I and mean, you saw it against Penn State. We were incredible that game. The first half, they couldn't touch us. We needed the same thing, kind of consistency the problem. And next man up has got to be everybody. And looking at this game, I mean, this was a back and forth game. Look at shots, shots, look at shots on goal. It was pretty much even. How much can you use a game like this where you had to fight for every shot? moving forward in these next three games before the tournament starts. Yeah, I mean, not every shot is going to come off easy. You're going to have to work for it sometimes. And in the MAC, obviously, the way the teams play, they don't give anything for free, so you got to work hard and try to get the shots off the best you can. Talk to me about these next four games. How important is it to find that identity before you get to the MAC tournament, before you get to the NCAA tournament? Yes. Starting to come crunch time, now I gotta start settling in. 
and I would say the team's frustrated at the moment with the 